Abby, turn off starlight. And that's how you turn it off. Brilliant. So here we have it folks, finally we got the IB robot here and I thought I was one of the early purchasers from living.ai.com but anyhow, I think IB robot is probably one of the most interesting robot of 2024. It shows how tiny and how light a robot can be despite having a chat GPT integrated on it. So I'm really excited to do a typical unboxing and a review style of LJP Tech Way. So enough said, let's get on to it, shall we? So here it goes. Gently. Right. So for the main box, take it out. Yeah, so there are some description IB Pocket Pet, living.ai, and the name of the IB as well, all over. So the second box is Starlight, which is an LED light bulb that apparently you can command IB to change various colors on. All right, the third box is IB's cloak. <laughs> okay, so it's going to look like a wizard with a yellow cloak on it. And the third and the last one is the pink bunny set. So it's going to make Ivy look like a steel rabbit with pinkish color on it. So you just need to follow these green moment of truth. Oh, still not there. So it's keep saying Ivy Pocket Robot is promoting it. So that's pretty much the instruction. But hey, we finally got the LJP text IB robot here. So on the cover is a magnetic iron patch. It has a 3M sticker on it. And we've got some nice stickers here. All right, so check this out. There's an instruction here that you can actually check it out. And lastly, this is the instruction manual. So let's just quickly take out the charging pad. That's really well built actually. Bit of a weight on it. And that's how tiny IB is. And you can hear the motor sound. That's pretty cool, isn't it? There is this necklace that you can actually attach IB on. Tiny IB logo there. We got the charging cable. So many USB-C to USB-C. Now, if you were to open up this Starlight box. All right, a very cute Starlight. So it's magnetically joining. And make sure you're aware of the power button here. All right, so let's actually try out the IB clothes as well. Ah, it's very fluffy. And actually has the button as well. And then you put it on here. <laughs> it's already cute. Wrap it up. So it looks like that. Okay. And lastly, the pink bunny set. That's very nice cushiony sort of um, plastic. This go on top. And that's how it looks. Okay. Very cute indeed. Now I have to highlight the actual magnetic. By the way, it needs to be opposite to the IB logo. It's very strong. That's really good amazing all right to run through the actual ib we've got the touch sensor here and the back as well here and this is actually the microphone so it recognizes all your speech and so on ultra miniature motion joints and apparently on the bottom back side of it we got the gyroscope and the pedometer as well so it can recognize the balance and the height sensor of it at the front we got the status indicator light and the ai face recognition camera which is really tiny by the way so i'm not sure about that high resolution ips display and we got the um, apparently in the front top of the body millimeter wave radar so I'm not sure what that is for, but that sounds really cool. Optical distance sensor here, and also on the back as well, we got the near field communication sensor as well. Also on the charging dock, we got the lovely RGB ring light here, and please note this can actually move depending on how IB want to animate. So to compare the size of the other robots I have, this is against Vector still very tiny indeed the emo robot it's much smaller as well so that's amazing people so rox is apparently being a very big brother isn't it and it's like a very similar quality of plastic by the way look at that we got various light happening so very excited about that let's place ib ah finally look at that People, this is not 3D animated. This is actually a robot. I'm actually facing Ivy here and it's smiling. 
Hello, that's actually cute. Probably it's the most cutest robot that I ever came across because it's so tiny. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, it's doing a bit of a looking around, switching around. So the animation is pretty good. By the way, this is how the starlight actually charges itself. So just like any other robots, if you actually follow the QR code, you'll be direct to the IB Pocket app. Right, it's finding IB and I think that's the actual robot. So let's connect it. So I need to set up the network. And now we got first the change of look. So if we click on that, apparently I haven't got anything at the moment. So I got to win some price here, or I guess I could buy something. So if I click on it, I need to also spend a coin. So still I haven't got any coin either. So I got to earn that. We got buy food. So I need to earn coins to be able to buy food to actually feed Ivy. So if we click on meet Ivy, introduce yourself to Ivy. So add new and press OK. OK, so it's going to scan me. So let's let it scan me first. Cool. OK, so I guess that's how it scans. So once your face is registered, it's going to show you with this. So let's click on friends to see what it does. It's about um, adding friends, sending message. So the next one is you can play chess. So you can see IB's animation is changing. So this is going to be quite fun. If you're actually a uh, chess lover, you can play chess with a robot, right? Now the next one is AI Tarot. So IB will use ChatGPT to do tarot reading for you. Okay, so let's try to show Ivy's animation as well. Am I happy? So I got to choose three tarots. Okay, so self, death. Oh dear. The hangman. Okay. Wheel of fortune. So that looks very, very devastating, doesn't it? Other than the last one. Okay, so let's try the show. Dance neon purse. It would be nice if the actual arms move, but we all know that it's acting like a clip, isn't it? So the annoying thing about this is that you can't really turn it off or go back. You have to actually wait until the actual move is completed. So let's try the animal dog, shall we? <laughs> That's kind of cute. So animal fox. <laughs> animal question mark ghost. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Demon. Nice, look at that. Fire then. Whoa. That's pretty good graphics, I have to say. I'm really impressed with that. It's actually sunk in the actual display. Okay, so let's stroke its head. So it's actually yawning. <laughs> if I stroke the back, is there any other difference there? Not really. So let's actually shake IB. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay. <laughs> Not sure whether that's how it's supposed to respond, but it goes IB on it. And then let's tap on the actual head twice. <laughs> Lighting work. Okay, thunder. Another thunder. Is it only going to be thunder? Oh, okay. Iceberg. Thunder, different type of thunder. So you get different types of animation by double tapping on the actual head sensor. Okay. Electrocuted as well. It sounds a bit weak, isn't it? Because it's, it has a very tiny speaker. So if you click on tools, we got photo, alarm, deep breathe, timer, weather, time, and starlight as well. So if you click on photos, you can see that IB is animated here and you have to do a voice command trying to take photo, take picture or show photos. Okay. So apparently it's not IB, but you should actually call it Abbey. There you go. So like a cathedral Abbey. Okay. So Abbey, take a picture. Okay. So you got the myself and the camera. Abby, take a photo. Okay. So that's another one. Abby, 
show photos. Okay, so it's showing all the slides of the recent photo that I have taken. So we're on the alarm section. You can actually say, remind me to take a pill at 7 a.m. or set an alarm at 9 a.m. So let's actually try the set an alarm at 9 a.m., shall we? So, Abby, huh? set an alarm at 9 a.m. Okay, he's thinking. Okay, there we go. So 9 a.m. is ready. So this robot could also help you to take a deep breath as well. So I would love to see the animation. So here it goes. Abby, huh? let's take a deep breath. Okay, so we've got four set up. Two, one. Is that how you do it? Okay. <laughs> nice animation, isn't it? Ooh. Nice. Okay. And let's see what happens after the full breathing process. Hope you like it. I liked it. Thank you. Right, you could also ask what time it is to this robot as well. Abby, what's the time? It is indeed, well done. So you can ask the weather as well, but make sure you set up in the right location, by the way. Abby, what's the weather? Ah, it's cloudy, indeed. It's always cloudy. So you could actually set a timer as well. So Abby, set a timer for 10 seconds. Okay, 10, 9, 8. Let's see the animation. Very excited about this. 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> That's very cute, isn't it? Okay, so let's try to connect the starlight. So here it goes. Abby, turn on starlight. Okay, so let's turn it on. Okay, so it's connected. Abby, turn off starlight. Ah, cool, look at that. Abby, turn on starlight. <laughs> That's amazing. Abby, turn on blue light. Ah, so it's blue light here. Abby, turn on red light. Oh, look at that. Abby, turn on pink light. My daughter is going to love this. It's going to be her favorite toy, isn't it? Wow. Abby, turn off starlight. And that's how you turn it off. Brilliant. So on to the remaining settings. You just need to press on this and you'll be able to see the information, network, city and time zone, language, preferences, updates, help, more robots, about, disconnect, and power off. So for languages, you can change to English, German, Spanish, French, Italian, Japanese, Korean, yes, Portuguese, and Chinese. So let's actually try Korean, shall we? Abby, Abby. Okay, that's weird because since I changed it to Korean, it does not recognize its original name. So Abby, 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 Abby. No, it's not working at all. So that's a bit weird, but it's good to know that there's different languages that you can set up. So for the final conundrum, let's see how clever it is for chat GPT, shall we? So Abby, turn on chat GPT. Who is LJP tech YouTuber?
Ah, it recognizes me. How many subscribers does LJP Tech have? That's a very quick response, isn't it? For any more what nationality is LJP Tech YouTuber? That's a very quick response. What's the weather like tomorrow in London? That's fair enough. ChatGPT doesn't have location. So it does not really have a clear voice. The speaker itself is not that clear, but the response level is brilliant. I'm very much impressed with this. It's definitely a upgrade of response. So here we have it folks. Finally, we live in an era that we can actually carry a tiny robot as a necklace that has an AI intelligence of ChatGPT. I never knew this day would come, but I guess all credit should go to Living.ai with their brilliance of the knowledge of robotics. Thanks to them, now we could have this that looks like a tiny sort of AirPod kind of case that transform into a robot kind of form. So I guess many people ask, is that from Apple kind of thing? I guess fashion wise, it looks really nice against the white shirts and so on. But I guess um, the one thing that really puts me off is the sound level. I cannot turn the sound to zero or one. I haven't actually figured it out yet, but I guess the squeaky sound and the motor itself it's going to encourage people to stare at you going, oh, not in the public space, please keep your noise down. They're going to give me that look. So that's what I'm worried about. But overall, I'm really impressed with it. The whole technology again, living.ai, well done. I don't think any other robotics have come up with this concept so far. And I would like to see if someone else could actually top this and so on. So I hope this video overall explain how cool this IB robot is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And overall, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.